Hi guys and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful little bow tie stitch. Okay? Or I should say bow tie pattern, not bow tie stitch. Okay? It's very pretty. You can use it for scarves. You can use it to make blankets. You can use it to make, um, I don't know, tops. I use it to make this for winter to go over my um, winter to go over my blouses sorry so you can use it for anything um, just a quick tip though I've noticed that when I did my first row I did my stitches really loose and um, my chain stitches might pay not to do them so loose don't do them too tight or you can't get your single crochets in there um, just don't do them so loose because once you pull this stitch in together it kind of pulls it all in the middle and that way you you sort of get that little bowed look you don't really want that so keep that a little bit tighter okay um, the rest is pretty much good it does need a good blocking you know wash and block and um, I will do that for you in a couple of weeks time or show you in a few weeks time three to four weeks time how to do that as I need a second person to help me record while I'm blocking so this is it I think we should get started don't you <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, for the purpose of the tutorial, I will be using a, a little old thread that I found in my stash. It is a Bendigo Woolen Mills thread, of course. <laughs> um, it calls for a four millimeter hook today. However, I'm using a 4.5. So, of course, you can see my nice tight stitches. OK, you will need to know how to do chains and single crochets, and that's pretty much all you will need to know. That is how basic this stitch is. I love the bow tie stitch. I use it often and I like to use it on vests, um, but you can use it on anything, really. In fact, the amount of stitches we're going to cast on today, you could probably use it to make a scarf. OK, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, to make a scarf, you would need more than that little tiny stash there. You would need quite a lot. OK. All right, quick slip knot over and over and over and over, over again, over again, pop your hook in there. If you're not sure how to do a slip knot, I do have a tutorial here on it, so go ahead and have a bit of a practice and come back to us. Okay, we are going to chain a multiple of 13 plus 1. So I'm going to chain on 26 and then add, add that extra one at the end, which is a 27. Okay, so yarn of a hook. Pull through the loop on the hook. Yarn of a hook, pull through loop two. Yarn of a hook, pull through loop three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whoops, sorry. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and then we're adding one more. Okay, now the reason I've done 26 is because that's why you can use it as a scarf if you want to. Okay, you'll get two sets of bow tie looks okay so your first row is as easy as easy as they get you uh, single crochet in each stitch until you get to the end yarn in that stitch yarn of a hook pull up a loop yarn of a hook pull through two yarn in your next stitch yarn of a hook pull up a loop yarn of a hook pull through two and so on and etc 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 Okay, so you keep doing that and get to the end and I shall meet you up. All right, if you uh, calculated your stitches properly, then you would have, when you count these little chains, or these little V stitches down here, you would have uh, 26 stitches across. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, there you have it. That was your first row done. That's easy, isn't it? Your next row is, okay, first we turn our work, whichever way you want to turn it. I don't know why we've got a blurry, that's better. It's a little bit darker, but it's less blurry. Oh no, there's a blurry again. Let's try 
that's better. All right, so we chain one and we do a single crochet in that very first stitch or the same stitch as you chain one, in other words. Okay. Then we do a second single crochet in your next stitch and a third single crochet in your third stitch. Okay. And now we're chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've chained seven. Now, to make that other effect that we had before, before, sorry, that you saw in the promo, in the preview there, you need to skip eight, uh, sorry, seven chains. So one, two, three, seven stitches, I should say, four, five, six, seven, and in your eighth stitch, you need to put a single crochet in that eighth stitch so go ahead and do your count and see how you go I'll do my single crochet and I'll wait here for you okay easy now um, I think we need to do four more single crochets I'll tell you in a minute let's just keep going there's another single crochet and another single crochet and another single crochet i just have to have a look at it to see if we've done the right thing we've done one two three four one two three four i think we need six my apologies we need six i think i'm trying to do my figures here <laughs> crochet is all about counting four five oops no get that right five and six okay so now you chain seven again one two three four five six and seven you're skipping your eight so one two three four five six seven eight and if it helps it goes in the one two third last one if that helps all right so pop it in your third last one we're doing a single crochet in there and that's your first single crochet towards the end you need to do a second single crochet and you need to do one in your very last stitch this one's a little bit fiddly so just be weary to get both loops Okay, so what you should have, I'll blow that out a bit so you can see it. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> That's what you should have. A little bit bendy and twisty at the moment because it is a lace stitch and that's what happens with lace, single crochet. It'll straighten out once we um, do a few more rows. Okay, so that's pretty basic. The best part is the next row is exactly the same. Pretty cool, huh? So you, let's blow that up again, there you go, you turn your work, chain up one, single crochet in that very first stitch from your, your work there, single crochet in your second stitch, single crochet in that third one, and then we chain seven, one, two three four five six seven and now we don't need to count we just put your next single crochet straight in that first single crochet that comes to okay easy and then single crochet again two oh, i suppose we still need to count <laughs> single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six stop there and chain your seven one two three four five six seven now find your very first single crochet and single crochet in there it's too easy isn't it so far 
and it's funny how easy this stitch is and yet it still has a very pretty look about it single crochet in your next and single crochet in your last so let's have a look at what we have so far okay so we're getting there that's the way it's looking so when we do our bow tie it'll go in there okay so it's already starting to give that little bit of an looks a bit like uh, glasses doesn't it <laughs> it's getting a it's already starting to give a bow bow tie kind of look okay but we're not yeah we're not there yet we still have another couple a few more rows to go okay all right so we've turned our work well we're going to turn our work we haven't yet blow that up a little bit more chain one and we're actually repeating this row so single crochet in there the first one single crochet in your second one single crochet in your third and the final one in that section and then you what chain seven one two three four five six whoops whoops well don't lose a stitch like i just did <laughs> six and seven okay and then you bring it all the way over to the next stitch and you single crochet in there one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six and guess what we're chaining seven one two three four five six and seven okay and then we skip all those again go over to your single crochets and start them single crochet in there the first one single crochet in the second one single crochet in the third one pull up a loop and let's have a look at what we've got oh isn't that pretty well guess what guys the next row is what I like to call the magic tie row where we do our tie it's not exactly magic <laughs> okay let's get started all right so your next row is almost the same but not okay hence the word almost you turn I notice a lot of people with this particular pattern don't do the single crochet in their first stitch I do I chain up one and then I put a single crochet in there a lot of people don't I actually like to put the single crochet in there it completes the row I think okay the so single crochet in there one single crochet in there two and the single crochet in there three okay now this is where it's a little bit different chaining three one two three okay now this is where we're going to make our bow tie it's so easy you you won't even notice it when you when you're doing the next one so all you're doing is doing a single crochet around all of those three chains or chain spaces just i should say so it's like that all the way around that single crochet done easy yeah and then one two three and then skip to your single crochets and pop them in one two three four five six chain three one two and three and remember these three we're going to keep them together and we're going to do a single crochet around all three of them and then chain three one two and whoops lost my thread there sorry 
three and a single crochet in your last three stitches I mean how's this for easy huh let's check out our bow tie loosen it or tighten it or whatever you want to do to make it visible ta-da okay so oh, <laughs> that might help <laughs> sorry um, it's not really visible yet I think once you do your next um, few bow ties you'll see it better so we're going to do the next set just for fun let's get started okay our next row is basically we're repeating two to five two, <laughs> two to five rows we're just going to keep repeating that set over and over again so we're just going to go chain whoops no we're not we're going to turn our work sorry about that <laughs> chain one single crochet in the first stitch single crochet in the second stitch we should be really fast at this now single crochet in the third stitch chain seven one two three four five six seven best part is we don't need to count now we know exactly where we're going to go to do our single crochets we skip all of that remember that skip all that and pop it in the first single crochet so you single crochet in that first single crochet you come to one see how we've skipped single crochet in the next two single crochet in the next three single crochet in the next four and in the next five and in the next six chain seven one two three four five six and seven move all the way over to your single crochets and there you go <coughs> single crochet in your last three excuse me one two and three pull it up and actually if you wanted to leave it like that you could but we won't because what we'll do oh sorry <laughs> keep getting out of frame here so what we'll do we're going to do those other few rows we're going to make one more bow tie then we're going to do one more row of this and a row of single crochet so you can see what it looks like when it's a completed item okay so let's get the other row done what I want you to do the next two rows just repeat this last row we did and I will meet you up after that okay so for the next two rows repeat this row okay here we are at our final row well not our final row but it's our final bow tie row so we turn we chain up one single crochet in the first and so nothing's changed until we get to the chain space so everything's the same single crochet in the second and single crochet in the third and when we get here we're only chaining three remember before one two and three and then we single crocheted around all of those three so we put them together and we single crocheted around all of them And then one two and three and then we just did our normal single crochets in there one two three four five six chain one two and three single crochet around all of them again and then one two and three single crochet in the last three stitches one two and oh we can get in there three nice tight stitch i've got there <laughs> all right let me show you what we have so far there uh-huh uh -huh. pretty cool huh now with this stitch here what we have okay if you want to make it adjust it a little bit you can and there you have it so 
So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So that's it. Now, to finish off this piece, let's just say we've done, I don't know, uh, 200 rows and we're making a scarf. Okay? So we want to finish off our scarf, so to speak. It's a little bit wobbly and a little bit loose here and it's only because of my tension so don't worry too much about that that'll adjust itself so you turn and you do one of your uh, loop one of your loop rows so you chain one and you single crochet in there one single crochet in your next two single crochet in that next three and then you seven one two three four five six seven chains and then you skip to your single crochets whoops I'm always out of the frame with this picture i'm sorry about this guys because i'm trying to look through underneath the camera for this one it's a really tricky stitch for me it's not tricky just the, it's not very visible one two three, four, five, and six single crochet. Now chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you do your three single crochets at the end. One, two, and three now here's where we end off the row okay we turn chain one single crochet in your first single crochet in your second okay single crochet in your third now in here you need to do seven single crochets just around it Oops, one, two, a little bit fiddly, but you'll get it. Three, whoops, <laughs> three. It is a bit fiddly, isn't it? Four. Well, I can't remember how many I've done now. One, two, three, four. Yep. Five, even though I counted it, thought I missed it. Six. Seven. And then single crochet in there makes it one, two, three, four, five, whoops, six. Now the thing with cotton, you need to remember when it comes with cotton, cotton can actually stretch. Whoops, it can kind of stretch if you don't use it properly or if you leave it lying around. And I think that's what's happened with my cotton here. It's very stretchy. Been left lying around far too long and used too much. So we do seven single crochets in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and one in each of the last three. One, two, and three. There you go. Now you have basically done your butterfly. Your butterfly. But I can't believe I said butterfly. Your bow tie. It's a little bit. The tension's a little bit tight, but that is what washing and blocking is for. Okay. Now, if you're not sure what washing and blocking is, I will be showing you a tutorial um, in the next few weeks, probably um, during the school holidays. You're probably looking at another four weeks before I show you how to do a blocking. Now, blocking, if you are keen to try yourself without seeing, is you wash your product in your fabric softener or in whatever you want to use. Then you put it down on a board and pin it straight pin one there one there one there one there one there nice and straight 
do the opposite side and pin like that don't pull too tight otherwise you end up with buckles here little it pulls on different areas but you want to keep it as straight as you can when you're pinning and I will show you that I promise um, you're probably looking about three or four weeks before I can do that because I need a little bit of time and I need a, a video man to help me or a video woman or a video anything <laughs> someone to actually video me because um, it's something that you need to see as a whole you need to see how it's washed in the, the container and you need to know how long and all that sort of jazz so you need a second person which I don't have right now I'm working alone at the moment so thank you so much for watching this is the bow tie stitch it's a little bit fiddly but it's not difficult and it can be used for scarves it can be used for blankets and it can be used for um, I use them for vests anything with a lace stitch I use to make vests for myself in winter now uh, that I work in an office it is hard for me to be wearing jumpers and so on so I just wear a nice blouse with a pretty vest such as this Thank you so much for watching. Click like on the tutorial if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to receive further tutorials, you need to um, click the little bell button. Thanks so much for watching and ciao for now.